in this video we're going to continue on and now we're going to make the second chart section here which will be aligned with above here and you see this is nicely aligned here but I just realized that this part here is not being fully aligned but that will be covered in the next video as well so let's start to look how we can make this second chart so now we're going to continue with part 20 and part 20 we're going to focus on adding another chart here below and that will be helping us with scrolling basically we have the scroll feature here but the coin market cap has basically two charts a chart up here and one below that helps us with the scroll of it so that will be very interesting to do this what we need is we need to get another default chart so i'm going to go to chartjustry.com getting started this link you can find as well in the description box so then once you're on here we're going to just copy this and i'm going to scroll down here and then just get all of that or oh sorry i don't have to do all of it what i need is just only this part here the javascript itself because everything else we already have copied previously and after we just need to do some modifications so i'm going to scroll down here at the bottom and at the bottom here i'm going to put here and enter enter paste all of this in there there you are and i'm going to change the name of it i'll say here number two this is chart js number two or my chart number two config number two this must be number two this here data needs to be modified to say data uh, or maybe we don't even have to modify that we have to just see oh sorry we do need to we have what we'll be needing that because i will modify here the item so this should be data number two so that's very important to remember and then here this will be later on modified i'm going to say this will be lines the line as a line chart i will scroll up to the very top and then add a new canvas in here and this canvas let's see where is it um the html code uh there we are i'm just going to copy this put a new canvas in here say this is canvas number two save refresh there we are so now we have our chart here but of course it is not done let's solve all the items and fix it correctly let's go down so what i will do is because i saw in the coin market cap chart it was a blue line so i'm going to use this blue color here for the border and then in there the border width here i'll just make this uh number three we can just remove it basically that by default is number three what I want to do here as well is make sure that this is a blue color for the background and put that in there so if I save this refresh all right so now what we have to do here is we say fill equals true and save that now we have a filler and now I want to squeeze the chart a bit or let's get first the data so the data is here up somewhere let's go up here and uh, let's look at it we have here uh, date that's it this is the date and we have here the numbers numbers is basically the value of the item and the dates is the x scale so i'm going to grab the numbers and the dates i'm going to scroll down here or just click on the other side so i'm going to go down fast then we're going to say here the data will be related to this data here and this one is the numbers then we had another one here labels and this will be dates dates and then if we save refresh all right so this starts to work but we're not done yet i'm going to scroll down here and what we can do now is adjust the size of it so i'm going to say here uh s spec ratio and i'm going to make this very narrow so basically this chart here must be extremely narrow because it's like a scrolling chart for there a, a visual scrolling aid basically so what i'm going to say here let's say 10 what that basically means that the width would be 10 times or 10 times smaller compared to the height so and that's what that's fine for us because we want to have a very narrow chart something like this but of course you can see here at the bottom we need to solve the scales here so i'm going to say x scales and then all we have to do basically is we can just borrow everything that we did previously in the other scale so i'm going to search for the scales here uh the options 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 no that is too far so i need to go halfway down here 
if you look for the options if you zoom and no that is not it so let's search for it options options all right this should be it and i'm going to get here everything here you just copy all of this and i'm going down here in the scales and basically we can just put that in there paste that to move this x all right save refresh all right so now you can see here we get the magic values but of course the scrolling effect must be with a color and we have to build that as well um what we can do here is let's remove here the legend remove these values here remove these lines here and then maybe try to match the space that we have here and there so what i'm going to do here is on the grid line on the y scale we're going to say here uh grid lines this can be removed or let's say remove the ticks first the so ticks display equals false comma then next one that will be below here comma we're going to say here the grid line so that's grid display false save refresh so now we have that let's remove here the lower ones on the x scale as well i'm going to remove only the grid lines and later on we probably have to fine tune the scale text there's still a lot of things we have to do here and probably this one as well to match it correctly but if i do this now we have that legend let's remove the legend and i guess the tool tip can be removed as well they have no value and all these dots here um let's see here we're going down here after the scales comma we say your plugins and say here uh, legend and i'm going to say here display which sets on false com and then we don't need to do comma here but doesn't matter but we're going to say here to tip and i'm going to say here enable and we're going to set this on false as well save that refresh there we are final item is these dots here the point radius that is in the data set so the comma we're going to say point radius zero and the point hoover radius zero as well save that refresh and now we have that here all right so this starts to look slightly better of course here this part we just need to calculate how can we calculate we need to know basically what is the um the left side of the chart area how many pixels is that well i'm going to do it very simple for now just do console log i'm just going to grab that one from my chart it was in my chart chart area and if i save that refresh console log we have the object here and then you can see here what we have so the left side apparently is 37 pixels although it might depend i realize that depending on as we move this we make this bigger or smaller let's see if that would be affecting it apparently not for now so that might it doesn't matter now so i'm going to grab this left my chart area left and uh, what we can do is well basically we can do it like this we're going to say here we're going to say here layout we're going to say here padding then we're going to set here left we put a comma here so what is the left padding here well in this case remember this what we did i'm going to copy this and just put it in here like that uh where is that sorry padding padding layout left dot left so once we did that comma we're going to say here another one is the right side say my chart because this is the chart id from the previous one chart area and the right side that's the amount of padding i want to assign to it um or is, am i correct sorry right would be 700 and that would be too much padding i guess so that is probably not correct what i need to do here is calculate the width of this and then what is the padding here with padding um uh, what i want to do is because if i do the right side you can see here the width of this is 773 and if i do this one here it's 765 so I need to calculate that. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to say I need the full width of the chart and not this one here because it should be about 8 pixels. 
right now it will give us 700 plus so how do we go and do that one let's look at the chart area i'll save that refresh as you can see here that's why we have this massive padding now but don't worry i'm going to look here for the full width of the canvas that's basically in chart so chart dot width gives us the full width of the canvas the full width all right i'm going to grab this once i grab that one what i'm going to do is i'm going to say the right side or this the full width minus the right side the moment i do that say refresh we should be now exactly matching with it and that looks absolutely beautiful all right so now we have this part and of course the next is to make this bit responsive with our scroll so where we're going to highlight like a uh, a box with colors in there